we're pleased to have Dr. Mark Chisholm with us to speak about recent advances in radiation treatment. After learn, earning his medical degree from the Uniformed Services University of Health Sciences, Dr. Chisholm completed his residency at the National Cancer Institute. He's board certified by the American Board of Radiology with certification in subspecialty of radiation oncology. Dr. Chisholm is intrigued by biology and physics of radiation therapy, therapy to fight cancer. Dr. Chisholm is also a recent cancer survivor himself, making himself especially empathetic towards his patients. He specializes in image-guided radiation therapy, intensity modula modulated radiation therapy for head and neck, and treatments for skin, breast, and prostate cancers. Originally from Los Angeles, Dr. Chisholm is a 24-year veteran of a U.S. Navy and, is also, and was also trained as a nuclear engineer prior to his medical career. He is currently pursuing a master's degree in theology. Dr. Chisholm and his wife, Anne, are residents of Williamsburg. They have four children and three adult children and three grandchildren. Thank you so much, Dr. Chisholm. We really appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. And uh, there's a fourth grandchild. I don't want to forget that one. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. She four grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let me get the front. There you go. Well, um, thank you for inviting me today. I think it's really exciting, some of the advances in our field over my career, and especially over uh, the last several years, as the technology uh, has just uh, made it so much easier for us to deliver radiation safely, uh, to target areas more accurately, and to do that with less side effects. And so today's talk is about some of the advances in this area, and specifically what Riverside Health System has invested in, in the equipment and people such that we can provide this. So just a kind of a overview of going back uh, over the, my career, but certainly just to show you so many advances in time and it's kind of accelerated recently where way back the older machines uh, had a lot of skin effects. They weren't able to penetrate through the body and target where we wanted to. And as we've moved through several iterations of machines and collimators, the ability to target and the ability to to real time image along with techniques in the in the equipment itself um, leads us up to the current state of the art where we're able to provide what, what we'll talk about tonight the ability to uh, provide radio surgery at our radio surgery center in Newport News. So this is an example of a, of a modern equipment, a modern radiation therapy device that's able to rotate or around the patient, deliver radiation from any angle that that machine can rotate. The table itself can also be moved to help the patient if there's been any change in position. And this can all be done every day. It can be also on a daily basis, can image inside the body to make sure that there's been any motion inside as far as uh, where we're targeting, that that can also be adjusted for on a daily basis. When you hear stereotactic radio surgery, and we have a steady art center in Newport News that provides care for our whole health system, um, it's a progression of different types of devices that you may hear. Uh, we provide gamma knife radio surgery for intracranial lesions, but on the stereotactic world, we now have a varying edge machine, which is really state of the art. And this this picture just kind of gives a glimpse. I could probably spend a little time talking about the different parts, but. I think I'll just kind of focus on that a little further down the road here. So when when a patient's referred to us for treatment, um, especially in the radio surgery world, it's a, it's a lot of different specialties involved. If you're looking at just the example of prostate cancer, which I'm going to talk about a little bit today, you have your urologist that will send the patients in for consultation. You've got physics team, you've got nurses and staff, you've got the therapists on the machine, you have um, the doctors involved, and sometimes like in the, in the, for instance, for gamma knife, you'll have a neurosurgeon and a radiation oncologist working together. So this picture just wanted to show how when you, when you advance to the point where you're using in that upper corner multiple beams 
on these advanced imaging and advanced treatment machines, you're able to target the dose so tight around your target that you can limit where it's going. If you look at the picture on the top right to me, it's showing you the prostate uh, surrounded by the dose that we deliver. And you can see that a little bit better on the bottom left picture where the in brown is the patient's bladder, in blue is the patient's rectum, and the prostate sits right between those. And as we're able to get this dose down tighter and tighter and tighter, and to make sure we're hitting it on a daily basis, then, we're, then we eliminate or reduce as much as possible dose to these two structures. And that's where side effects start to be minimized as far as any issues with bladder or rectum when we're treating the prostate. There's also been advances in how to spare normal tissue. This is something called a space OAR device, which is actually placed in the patient prior to treatment. And it's a gel that forms and it's temporary, it dissolves over time, but during treatment, it's, it sits between the prostate and the rectum, pushing them further apart and again, reducing dose to the rectum. So this is another used in conjunction with modern equipment where we were just able to reduce tax. There's a lot of papers. I didn't want to put too many slides on this in today, just showing how much this has really helped us reduce toxicity. There's a lot of theory behind it, but it's not until you actually start using the machines and gathering data that you see that uh, what we're seeing in our clinic is actually true across the country and that you're seeing a great reduction in, in all types of toxicity with this targeted form of radiation. Another interesting fact is uh, when you look at the different technologies, the, the radio, radiation that we offer at our protons, I'm sorry, at our uh, Newport News Center is actually less expensive than some of the modalities that's been replacing. Uh, listed there, the proton therapy, which obviously gets a lot of attention in this area. It's a very expensive technique. And now that we have the technology in place to deliver radio surgery for prostate cancer at, uh, and deliver the same outcomes at a, at a lower cost. So stereotactic radio surgery um, is just a, a great advance. It's, it's able to be used for many areas of the body. Anywhere where there's a tumor we're trying to treat and, and every trying to eliminate dose to organs that are close by. Um, it's comparable to standard therapies for most cases, certainly for hard to reach cases. Um, it, it does require a dedicated staff. That it's an expensive process to set up, but once it's in place, our center has been in business for years now, treated thousands of patients with radio surgery. Um, let me see. Another advantage to this is in, in most radiation centers, patients come in every day for treatment for a long period of time, sometimes as much as eight or nine weeks, whereas in the radio surgery world, patients are normally treated just once a week um, for three or four or five treatments. Uh, so their time in the center is reduced, which is a big convenience for them. That's the last one. So I just want to summarize it. It's, you know, in today's world, uh, I feel very blessed to work for a health system that's provided us with the equipment necessary to, you know, really make sure we're doing everything we can to cure cancer and at the same time reduce side effects. All this equipment is very expensive and, uh, and we have the staff in place uh, and the machines in place to offer great care for anyone who comes in and needs treatment. So with that, I thought I'd open up to any questions on specifically what we do here in Williamsburg or the radio surgery program in general. Dr. Chisholm, we don't have any questions that have come in, but we really appreciate your time and thank you very much. Okay, thank for this you. Evening. All right. Thank you, Haley, for your thank help. You guys.